Hey, welcome to Meadowbrook Homestead. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about some of the equipment that we have out on the homestead here. In particular, this uh, John Deere 1025 uh, compact tractor that I bought in 2019. Uh, so it's basically going through its third winter right now. Uh, some of the reasons why I bought it, um, and then also what I like about it, what I don't like about it, uh, and what it replaces or augments here on the homestead. So we bought this property once again back in 2012, and when we got here, I had no idea what I would need, what, what uh, would come in handy out here. We did have 12 acres at the time, and so I had a little mini mower. After a few years of using that, I came to the realization that uh, speed matters, and so we started looking at uh, machines to help me uh, get my work done here on the homestead. Uh, we're looking at, um, tractors in the, the mini subcompact tractors around the 25 horsepower range. Uh, did take a look at a couple and I decided on the John Deere basically because of the ease of use of the machine. It had enough power for what I, what I intended to do. And it also had quite a few implements that were easy to get on and off. So let's talk about uh, what happens out here in the winter. Our first winter out here, I had no idea how much snow we, we received here in the area. And it came as quite a surprise when we got multiple feet of snow and I was ill-equipped to remove all of that. So we hired a local, a local snow removal guy, a local plow uh, uh, operator. And he'd come up here every time it snowed and remove uh, snow for us. The second year, it, uh, it seemed like it would be uh, cost prohibitive for me to continue having someone come and do something I could definitely do for myself. So I bought a truck and an articulated plow on the front and uh, did my own snow removal for quite a few years. Uh, it was probably, we were at about the um, seven year point in uh, homestead ownership when I decided that moving it via plow was not uh, the way that I wanted to go, especially since we do have multiple feet of snow. The uh, sides of the road, our driveway, would accumulate so much snow that eventually I'd have to have a tractor come up and remove it. So after learning that uh, for a few years, I decided that um, snow throwing was a way for me to go. So this little piece of equipment right here, this attachment is a 54 inch quick hitch attached snow thrower. It has, an, uh, it has a chute that I can articulate left or right and I can change the, the pitch of the, uh, the, the chuted snow with it. This right here has been the best purchase I think of my, uh, of my time here in regards to equipment. And uh, all of my neighbors love coming up here and they love telling me that they think my driveway looks like I own a, a golf course because of what this thing does. So it'll throw snow anywhere from 40 to 60 feet accumulated snow and it cuts it right down to the ground where I don't have accumulated snow on both sides of the road. It looks as flat as can be with the exception of what the, uh, what the snow has already built up on the sides. Obviously, this is my winter configuration, like I said once again. This takes me about maybe 45 minutes to put on, and it's a lot quicker to take it off. Uh, <clears throat> so I do, I have it in this configuration, usually from around late November until May. And in May, near the end of May, this thing will come off, and I'll go back into my summer <laughs> configuration. So this is a multiple stage uh, snow thrower. It pulls the snow off the ground with these sets of uh, augers, pushes it up into the chute where there's yet another one that actually turns it and throws it out through, the, through this, uh, this chute. Once again, I can control everything from the, uh, the height at which this sits on the ground to the uh, chute itself. It does not articulate side to side, so what it is is straight on. So I have to drive it and uh, use, the, uh, use the steering on the, uh, the, the tractor itself 
when I'm snow throwing. Another good aspect of this tractor is its four wheel drive. So in, its, in this uh, winter configuration, I leave the, the bucket on the back because it adds weight to the rear wheels. So I don't have to put chains on it to maintain traction on the road. I just leave the bucket on the back. That adds a, another degree of, let's just say safety and also capability because I have gotten stuck in this. I have taken it and slipped off of the road and gone into a place that was unplowed and had to use the bucket in the back to lift myself out and claw my way out of uh, snow, snow pack that uh, the wheels were just, were just spinning on. When May comes around, I'm gonna go into summer configuration and that's gonna consist of this front end loader and bucket which is primarily gonna be on there for the majority of the, uh, su of the summertime. For the rear, I'm gonna put uh, either my finish mower on some days or the, uh, the brush hog, which is for the dense brush. That's finish mower for basically to, to keep it nice and level like uh, you would with a regular mower. I don't have a belly mower for this. I opted against it. I'd rather have a toe behind and so these are going to be what I'm going to be using in the summertime to keep the homestead brush nice and low and make everything look at least aesthetically pleasing as much as possible. One of the time savers that I have for uh, hooking up my, the implements for the rear of the tractor is a quick hitch system. Now that allows me to just transition in between those, uh, those mowing implements quicker. And I like to think that it's, uh, it, it, not only saves me time, but it saves me wear and tear on the knuckles. What do I use my tractor for? What kind of projects have I, have I used it for? I use the tractor for moving earth, for cutting grass, for mowing down a tall brush. I've cleared at least 10 acres with, with, the, uh, with the brush hog attachment. I've also dug quite a few yards of, of earth down at my pond. Uh, getting the area um, more leveled out and also filling in places along the bottom of the property which was susceptible to uh, puddling and actually turns it turns it into like a marshy area but so I've used this uh, I've used this tractor for those types of uh, uh, those types of chores and those types of projects I also like using the front end bucket when I do have it uh, attached for moving firewood. So I'll load it up with firewood and put it, dump it where I want it as opposed to picking it up, putting it in a trailer, putting it in one of those carts, moving it and then taking it out again. So it's, it's, it gives me an, another, uh, uh, it takes away one of the steps that would be required if I were to put it in the cart for, for loading and unloading. So as for likes or dislikes, start with the likes. I like that this is a diesel. I like that it has the power that it does, and it actually is really good on uh, fuel efficiency. So I could go and do a, a chores around the homestead using this tractor for hours on the day, and maybe, maybe use five gallons of diesel for a whole day's worth of work. What I don't like about it is the, the weight of it. It's, I, I, I understand it's a compact tractor, it's smaller, but it does not have uh, as much weight that I would like as if I'm trying to pull trees or push down some, uh, down some brush. Uh, the weight of the tractor doesn't allow me to do that. I understand having a bigger tractor would do that, but uh, the, the, the dislikes are very, very few. I really, really like this tractor. It's been a, to me, it's been a godsend and I use it year round. So without it, I know that things would be so much more difficult out here on the, on the homestead. Hit that subscribe button to subscribe and also the bell for notification when we have a new video out. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.